beneath my smile, there was struggle. And beneath my light, there was dark. And beneath my big personality, I just had a bigger pain. I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about our limitless power to change our destiny. Let's begin talking about dreams. Obviously not mine, but my father's dreams. <laughs> so since I was five or maybe less, my father, who's a math teacher, had uh, his uh, huge dream that his only son become a hero. For him, heroes are doctors, <laughs> or at least engineers. <laughs> All the rest of people, they are just here surviving. <laughs> so I remember well all his gifts and books talking about sciences, uh, engineering, uh, cars, aircrafts, and all kinds of these things. And uh, even my mom, she got used to, uh, to record my best discovery programs in these old VHS videotapes, and we were just a happy family. But do you believe me if I told you that, if I tell you that I wasn't allowed to bring my uh, friends uh, in our home unless after a full father's investigations? Guys, they have to be a brilliant student. Yes, this was my life. So after 19 years of studying and trying to achieve my father's dream, <laughs> I become somewhere, somehow, a data processing engineer. So I, uh, after, directly after graduation, I uh, get lucky to be hired as a maintenance uh, aircraft, uh, an aircraft maintenance engineer, and I was responsible of the full security and maintenance program for uh, four airplanes uh, for two years. And at th that moment of my life, all seems good. I had a perfect life. I had that, the job that made my father finally proud of me, even, uh, even if uh, I did become a doctor. I had a beautiful and very sexy fiancé who got married as soon as possible and nothing else. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's truly, <really>, really. <laughs> I was like an idol for many, many, many youngest uh, engineers, and everyone kept talking and uh, telling uh, and asking my pa parents uh, how did they raise me. But in, real, in my real life, I felt that I've been living two different lives. The life that everyone sees and the life that I only see. In the life that everyone sees who I am, I was a successful engineer, I was a talented violinist, I was a lover, a son, a friend. And this is a huge part of me, of course. And even if you ask me to describe myself, I would say some of those same things. I wouldn't be lying, but I wouldn't be telling the truth either. Because the truth is, who I am, I was a person who is getting deeply in depression. Many people think that depression is being sad when uh, everything has gone wrong, when uh, maybe your loved one or uh, you didn't get the job you want, or you broke up with your girlfriend, but, but this is sadness. And sadness is very really natural human emotion. Real depression is when everything is going right and you are sad. So beneath my smile, there was struggle. And beneath my light, there was dark. And beneath my big personality, I just had a bigger pain. I was really afraid that I'm living the life that I want. I was afraid that I'm getting to my semi retirement point 30 years later, and, uh, and I would find myself following what the society called a safer path. I'm a kind of person who want to be a part of something bigger. And at work, we were just numbers. And we were easily replaceable. 
So I work at, uh, eight to 10 hours per day, trying to satisfy a boss who will never be satisfied, uh, killing my creativity by repeating hundreds of tasks carefully, by repeating carefully hundreds of tasks, and I would never hear the word thanks. So day after day, I felt that my job is killing me. I felt that my life is, killing me, is, is really killing me. But no one cares. Until that evening, when my boss called me to his office and told me, proudly, <laughs> Khaled, you have to search another job within two months for blah, 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 blah. For him, I was another dead soldier, I was another broken doll. And at that moment, my life changed forever. So, uh, I remember well that my, one of my best friends and my roommate kicked me out, and I, was, I found myself homeless for days. Uh, my fiancé left me because I didn't, the kind of uh, man who can manage a family or take responsibilities. Even I, uh, I, didn't, I, I hated to, to, to try to find another job because for me it, it will be probably something I hate. So in the summer of 2014, I had nothing, I was nothing, I used pills to sleep, I lost weight, and I felt that I'm fully destroyed. When I have one and a half year later, today, if you ask me to describe myself, that's what I will say. I'm the tech entrepreneur of the year in Indonesia from among more, more than 1,000 other startups. I'm the winner of Univenture, one of the greatest uh, startup competitions in Tunisia. I'm a winner of Sukhatanmia, a competition launched by the African Bank. Uh, I'm one of the top 25 startups in the biggest accelerator in France, Big Booster Lyon, last month. I raised more than 160,000 euros for my startups in less than four months, four or five months. I'm just the CEO and founder of Iris Technologies. Of course, engineering and aircrafts, this is what I loved, but entrepreneurship, this is what I am. So I will give you an idea about Iris Technologies. Iris Technologies is the first startup in Tunisia, in Africa, and in the MENA region. We try to use technologies to boost the productivity of beekeepers uh, and to increase the honey's quality. So uh, we manage uh, beehives like we did with uh, aircraft engines. We extract crucial data like uh, humidity, temperature, weight. Then after a session, then after uh, an analyzing and uh, uh, analyzing session, we generate a lot of uh, cautions, uh, information, predictions, recommendations, all what the beekeeper needs, all what the beekeeper should do and not. And our team actually of uh, vets, uh, beekeeper experts, uh, engineers. Uh, we are all doing our best to reach our goal, and we really actually have uh, uh, our first customers. So I will not just focus on my startup details, on my business model, or my, or my business plan, but I will focus on something more real. <laughs> I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about our limitless power to change our destiny. So, uh, so uh, people used to ask me, Khaled, aren't you afraid that you're going to never be the next Steve Jobs you want to be? <laughs> aren't you afraid that you're going to work all your whole life and nothing going to ever come, and you will die on your broken dreams and your mouth fill it with the bitter ash of failure? <laughs> Aren't you afraid the humiliation and rejection will kill you? The answer, the short answer, is yes. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of these things. I'm afraid of many, many other things besides people can even guess. But is it rational? 
is it logical that you expected uh, that somebody will be afraid of uh, doing the thing that he, he, he felt that he's put it on earth to do? People fail in their in lives, not because they aim too high and miss. People fail in lives because they aim too low and hit. So, usually they don't believe in themselves. They raise a family, they earn a living, and they're gonna die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching themselves, they stop pushing themselves, they, they refuse to change. And maybe I'm not the smartest guy you're gonna see this evening, but I will share with you uh, one of my favorite secrets. So uh, every day, when I wake up or uh, before I uh, get to sleep, I try to feed my mind with words. I try to feed my mind with, with words that I wrote in my room, in my office, whatever. R words that I, I speak to myself. It's possible. It's possible. I, I, I can make it happen. I can do it. I believe, I deeply believe, that if you feed your faith, and if you feed yourself, your doubts and your fear will starve to death. Like I'm seeing my fears now dying here on the stage with me. So let me say, a couple of words and, and finish it. Maybe uh, I will not uh, be the best entrepreneur. Maybe I will be the best entrepreneur, but, but there is one reality. Don't get afraid. Have a faith and passion and believe in yourself. Because if you didn't believe in yourself, no one will believe in you. Thank you.